Hi there, my name is Valentina. I am Madhu. And we're Twin Flames in Physical Union. And we are Twin Flame Ascension Coaches. Yeah. And today what we're going to do is to talk to you about food and the importance of how it nourishes you and romances you. So, let's get right into it. So the way you can actually nourish yourself, it can it doesn't have to be in a restaurant, although if you want to, you can absolutely take yourself out for a meal, either alone or with friends. Or you can do it at home, you can cook yourself a lovely romantic dinner, maybe light a few candles, put on some romantic music, get into that real romantic feeling. And um, yeah, food is very important for nourishing yourself and giving to yourself so that you can carry out your tasks of the day. And it just gives you that vitality that you need. So it's very important to give to yourself in this way because you receive so much from it. And when you receive from your food, you're able to, you know, that energy is able to then go to loving others. So this is very, very important. Also, the, the quality of what you put inside your body is vital because your body recognises that. And you can do this, like you can, you know, it just depends on your budget, you can go big with it, like spending lots of money, or you can actually put quality enriching ingredients into your body, even on a lower budget. So this is, um, this is something that everyone can do and is accessible to all. Yeah. And, uh, you know, specifically when we are talking about Valentine Day coming together, so food or dining with yourself and like dining with God mm -hmm. is something that we want to invite you into because it is pretty normal that if you are going through, you know, some separation consciousness with your twin flame, then you may feel ignoring yourself and your need for food. But I'm, I can tell you that, you know, really having that good nourishing food makes you feel good inside out. And, uh, you know, sometimes that changes your mood as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like just going out or re like just ordering a ice cream mm. or maybe, you know, treating yourself in any way that makes you feel good is something that we want you to explore as a, as a you know, gesture of romancing yourself. And uh, we want to share like, you know, we have a deep relationship with uh, food and uh, on a spiritual journey, even Jeff and Shilia recommend that, you know, you cannot ignore the food aspect of your life. You know, it's, it goes hand in hand. Like uh, more than, you know, what is the quantity you are putting into just to satisfy yourself or, mm -hmm. you know, fill yourself up. Or you are really engaging with your food to feel good. And like, you know, that quality, like really feeling satisfied emotionally and also physically. Uh, because we feel like, you know, sometimes there is a lack of consciousness. Oh, let's not uh, eat non veg or let's not eat that uh, because we are on a spiritual journey. But eventually, if you're not giving yourself the appropriate amount of protein, carbohydrate and all the minerals that is required and um, appropriate amount of fat, you know, everything that your body really need mm -hmm. uh, because you need to approach your body as a like holistically it's not like okay let me just give these or uh, hear from here absolutely and it has its own intellect so it understand what it needs and the best way is to just uh, connect with your body and the body is going to communicate what you need uh, in natural way and it's not like okay you have never been eating non-veg and from today you just have to jump into non-veg that's not our intention but uh, if you have, like you have been in a non-vegetarian, but uh, after getting into this awakening process or the spiritual process, uh, if you might have gone into the uh, belief that, okay, to have a spiritual journey, you have to stop eating non-veg, uh, that's not true. Uh, because your body is naturally designed to process uh, non-veg and your body needs uh, protein on a good level and then you know you just need to see food as a relationship with non-veg as like a food as a source of protein that mm -hmm. gives you uh, that helps you to ground because it is very much necessary and if you have i have read two or three books when i was awakening like w when we are like very sensitive and we are empath 
uh, it is actually a good amount of protein helps us to stay grounded mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then you will feel like really relax in your body and uh, it is going to help you feel good and that's all we want to feel like you know that good feeling yeah that's it that's the romance right yes. yeah and um yeah what else i would like to add to that is you really um you know what what mad is really saying is he you want to give your body what it's designing what do, what do you crave what does your soul crave because when you do that you it's like you give your soul what it needs and that feels amazing like I had this amazing hot chocolate today and I just can't stop talking about it <laughs> thinking yeah. about that hot chocolate oh, yeah the whipped cream and the chocolate on top oh amazing so when you when you give to yourself it's, it's not just about the physical body it's also the soul they're one and you're really like feeding your soul as well and something else I would like to um share you just do what feels right to you if you feel like you're in a place where you're like craving only being vegetarian and you feel in alignment with that then do that if you feel like uh, hey I'm a carnivore I love my meat do that that's fine there's no um, set rule you just give your soul what it needs in that moment and um, also what I would like to add is like I know that people I think I feel like they really um, equate dining and eating well they they think oh I need, I need to um, have a date to do that or I have to have a boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife and if they're single or you know in their twin flame un- like on the twin flame journey committed to their twin flame but not yet in physical union they might feel like oh I, I don't deserve that or it's just me like why should I cook this meal just for a single person but this is absolutely not true when you give to yourself you're giving to your union and uh, you're number one you need to care for yourself yep yeah. you are the center of your universe so care for yourself you know really yeah. just order that food that you are really craving and you're just numbing out to it just say yes to it and just enjoy you know for as a treat to yourself to romance yourself yeah like if you want that pizza you're like oh i just need to order that pizza tonight just listen to your guidance and just get yourself that pizza whatever it is whatever yeah 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 it's like you know really having a loving relationship with food and dining is such a beautiful aspect of your life mm-hmm. and it gives energy it improves your vitality and which is very much necessary when you are on a awakening journey mm-hmm. because in the awakening process you need more energy because there is a lot of emotions and everything moving through you so it is very much necessary that you support yourself you know through food as well yeah something that an example i can give um that happened to me in the last few days so that you can maybe relate for yourself your own unique experience with food and drink um i tried this amazing indian tea oh it's just amazing and um it just was sweet and perfect and then i was like um hmm now that i've tried it i feel like i i require this to support myself every day to do my work so now every day i drink a little um cup of this indian tea and it just satisfies my soul i feel so good so you'll have your own things that you feel okay this is going to support me in my work when you give to yourself what you need and you like you really receive and you, you're benefiting and oh it just feels good you feel taken care of you can then you know release that energy from in like going out the way you know to the the universe so, absolutely yeah. yeah so say yes to that cup of tea or say yes to that you know <laughs> chocolate <laughs> milkshake <laughs> so yeah god uh, you know god is happy when you are happy so make yourself happy and romance yourself the way you want to romance yourself yeah. it's a matter of listening to your heart and just saying yes to it you're your own king or queen so yeah treat yourself like one absolutely yeah feeling complete there yeah yeah really enjoyed this video thank you <laughs> we'll see you next time bye bye